On the Senate floor Thursday, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell reacted to the death of Queen Elizabeth II. McConnell said, quote, Through great triumphs and great challenges, the Queen's steady leadership safeguarded the land she loved, and added that she, quote, made sure her reign was never really about herself. Elizabeth was the longest serving head of state in the world at the time of her death, as well as the oldest British monarch and the ruler with the longest reign in the country's history. Today all Americans stand with our great friends across the Atlantic in mourning the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Our deepest sympathies are with the royal family and the many millions of people across the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth and the entire world who've drawn reassurance and inspiration from her historic reign, sterling character, and shining example. For 70 long years, from the aftermath of World War II, well into the 21st century, across 15 different prime ministers, through great triumphs, and great challenges. The Queen's steady leadership safeguarded the land she loved. Despite spending nearly three quarters of a century as one of the most famous and admired individuals on the entire planet, the Queen made sure her reign was never really about herself, not about her fame or her feelings or her personal wants or needs. She guided venerable institutions through modern times using timeless virtues like duty, dignity, and sacrifice. She offered our contemporary world a living master class that it needed badly. Of particular importance to all Americans the decades of Her Majesty's reign saw an intense deepening of the special relationship and close bond between the United States and the United Kingdom. The Queen met sitting President Harry S. Truman when she was a 25-year-old princess. She went on to meet with a dozen more of our presidents during her reign. She presided over a period of historic strengthening of the alliance between our nations that has changed the course of world history for the better. So, Madam President, today the Senate and the American people are joined with our dear friends across the ocean. We're joined in prayer. We're joined in grief and in gratitude for such a remarkable leader and such a successful reign.